Hello everybody and welcome back to Beyond the Steel Sky. My name is of course Constantine and check this place out. We have returned to this new adventure but in this new episode we are going to be in a virtual space here. Uh, this is going to be a really interesting playthrough that we're going to have to do in this episode. So let's see what we got to do next. Apparently there's a floating safe over here. Got no clue what this is all about. Repair. Encrypt the data. Extinguisher. What? Examine. An encrypted data store. This is so weird. Repair. Download. Omnigaffer. Repair spiral damage to network structure. Download complete. Huh. Repel, repair IT XA. What about this Extinguisher. one? Extinguisher temporarily overrides firewall programs for access to mainframe. Download complete. Huh. Seemed like right. just the thing to deal with the firewall. <laughs> uh, inventory. I mean, there's nothing I gotta do here in order to encrypt, right? I'm gonna need something in order to open that up. But first, let's see. Uh, where else should I go next? Oh, this is the firewall. Uh, examine. The firewall program kept unwanted traffic from progressing to Minos. Hmm. Uh, what if I use the extinguisher? Relaxing security protocols. The program did the trick. Oh. Shut down. Virus detected. Or so I thought. Ah, oh, crap. There's a virus. I mean, we cannot go there, right? Yeah. Uh, let's try to use the repair then. Error. Data Error. fragmentation at zero percent. Huh. Alright, in that case, let's see what's up with this one. Damage data. Uh, inventory, let's repair it. Alright, there we go. Now we can access this sector. Uh, what the crap is this? Oh, actually, this is gonna take me to the other platform. This one is me, gonna take me to a new platform as well. Whoa, what's up with this eye? Something told me I was being watched. Yeah, can I use the fire extinguisher on it? Error. Failed to connect <laughs> to my lost doctor. Alright, alright, never mind. Uh, let's try to use... Oh, crap! What? So I'm gonna have to block this eye somehow, apparently, if I want to cross. Interesting. Alright, let's go through here, then. Uh, damage data. Let's repair this one. The data was fragmented. Yeah, I know, I know. Let's try to use the repair... The repair tool. Oh, and look at this. This is actually going to cover up the eye. Blind. Download. <laughs> Counter -intrusion -counter what the mission. heck? The author does not accept liability for brain damage. <laughs> the blind program was a short oh and powerful tool for sneaking through security. That is so weird. Um, not quite sure what this is, though. It feels like I need to... Hmm. Open up that prison somehow. Hold up. First of all, let's try to blindfold this security here. There we go. There we go, it worked! The eye blinded. I didn't need to worry about it frying my brain. Perfect. Uh, let's go all the way up here then. Let's see what this is all about. Divine Wrath. What? Divine Wrath will destroy instances of the Helix virus. Warning, data will be unrecoverable. Download complete. Oh, this is destroying the, the virus. Sounded familiar for some reason. Huh. All right, so we got this one. Uh, next up, let's make our way up to here then on this cogwheel. Hmm. I think I'm gonna have to repair this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, inventory repair. There we go. And lastly, what we got here? What the crap is this? It's like a decryptor. Quick decrypt. A decryption oh. routine for all standard UCSI coded files. Download Interesting. complete. I wasn't sure right. what I'd so we got the decryptor. I didn't want to leave it behind. Yeah, I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm supposed to use it for. Maybe with that big safe? I don't know. Uh, let's just see. Before I'm gonna go with to that brain. Uh, let's just make my way all the way down here to the safe, and let's see if I can use that decryptor with it. Let's try it. Uh, inventory, 
Cryptor. It worked? It worked! Look at that! Perfect! The program seemed to do the trick. The data had downloaded, probably via my port to Leet's terminal. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm guessing I got what I needed, right? I'd already downloaded the data. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got what we needed. <laughs> Man, look at my guy. This is crazy, though, what they've done here. Absolutely crazy. I love it. <laughs> it looks so strange, though. Really crazy. Alright, buddy, let's get out of here. So, we got the decryption. Uh, next up, can I use this with the firewall? Inventory... Actually, hold up. Interact. Ah, oh, crap. That's gonna insta-kill me. I love it how we're spawning back in, though. It's really cool. Alright, let's try this again. Uh, firewall, inventory... What if I use the... Hmm. So, can I use the core lock? Actually, the core lock is what I got in order to get back. I get it. Uh, use this, define log. Scan complete. No anomaly found. No anomaly found. Yeah, you know what? I think I need that, um... I think I need that wrath with this creature over here. So let's just go to this side then. Holy crap, what is this? Oh, this is the virus that we gotta get rid of. Let's examine it first. The virus was slowly chewing through the data in the area. What the heck? Oh, what? Seriously? It's just gonna kill me if I stay on it too long? Alright, never mind. Let's try this again then. If I try to get a little bit closer to him and now I use this, please tell me it's gonna work. Come on, buddy. <laughs> we got it. With the virus expunged from Link Space, I hope I'd be able to get into Minos. All right, so we got that virus done, and I think that's about it. I don't see anything else I got to interact with here. So yeah, let's just make it all the way to that far wall now. Now that there's no more viruses over there, I'm pretty sure we can make it all the way back to Minos. Um, interact. Crap. I still need to do something apparently in order to access this. Hold up, let's see. So firewall examine. The firewall program had detected a virus. Apparently that was enough to send it into overdrive. Alright, in that case, use the inventory and use the extinguisher. Relaxing security protocols. There we go. Firewall shutdown complete. The firewall was down. I could access Minos. Perfect. And can I just walk to it? Yes, we can. Look at that. Holy crap, that was insane. <laughs> Whoa, wait a minute. We are not done here. There is definitely much more work we got to do here. Look at Minos. What the heck? What? What are you talking about? This is crazy. This is looking crazy. Alright, let's keep on exploring here. Let's see uh, what else we can find. Apparently there is a converter. Convert. Oh! What the crap is that? There appeared to be a recording on the data I picked up. Huh. A known biological agent in core. Intruder detected. Overman chamber. Biometrics replacement confirmed. Error. Error. Deleting file over my brain. Deleting file, link control brain. Upload file, Joey. Awesome. Link was going to replace my father's what? dying brain with mine. Seriously? If Joey hadn't sat in that chair, it would have gotten me too. Converted to Minos data. Please wait. Compatible program found. Retro fashion boutique order submitted. Huh. That was so strange. I wonder if I gotta use this core log with it. Accessing archive data. It appeared to be a recording on the data I picked oh. up. Okay. Unknown biological agent in core. 
intruder detected over man chamber. So uh, apparently I'm getting this intruder detected message here every time I'm trying to access this. Which is really strange. Yeah, it seems like it's doing the same thing over and over again. Link was going to replace my yeah, father's I know, buddy. dying I know. brain with mine. Hmm. If Joey hadn't sat in that chair, it would have gotten me too. Going into minus data, please wait. All right, uh, before I interact with this again, uh, let's see what this is. Navigator XA. I mean, holy crap, this place is crazy. Look at this. Are you kidding me right now? What the heck is this? This is insane. Um, let's see, maybe I need to do something with this navigator. Maybe it's gonna show me where I gotta go next. Oh, there we go. Hmm, it's creating a path for me, I guess. I still wanna do something with this converter, though. I just don't know what I gotta do here. Inventory... Line, Divine Wrath. I mean, could I maybe use this? Actually, we cannot use the Crypto. Actually, we cannot use anything. We can only use the Core Log. Alright, never mind. In that case, I'm guessing this has just showed us where we gotta go next. So let's just go ahead and do that. Let's see where this is gonna take us to. Whoa. Holy crap. Seriously? That is crazy. Oh, wait a minute. Who do we have here? Apparently we have Greta. Huh. Hey, Greta. Uh, hello? <laughs> Good evening. I am the Greta AI system in charge of this Minos channel. How can I help you today? I'm looking for the ID data center. Am I in the right place? Indeed you are. Citizen identification is under my jurisdiction. Are you having an issue with ID privileges? Can you access some specific citizens? I need to check out the programs running on their IDs. That's easily done. Who would you like to check? Check Graham Grundy and Elliot Richardson. Retrieving. Oh, look at that. We got the data for them. Excellent. Huh. Can we delete the programs that are running here? No problem at all. That will, of course, require administrator approval. Would you like one summoned? No, that's okay. Administrator cancelled. But I can move programs between users. That's right. Ancillary AI systems like yourself do have move access, but no delete or create commands. Hmm. That gives me something to work with, at least. Thanks, Greta. Happy to help. My avatar was overloaded with the program data. I doubted the smaller ones could support the larger. I needed to arrange them in size order. Interesting. What the heck are we supposed to do here? Graham Grundy avatar. Elio Richardson avatar. What? This is insane. I got no idea what I'm doing with this. Um, Hold up. Let's see. I mean, it looks like Elliot has more than mine. Remove domino.net. Huh. Add domino. Let's uh, add domino here. Huh. That is crazy. Remove data block. Add that a block. Doubted the smaller ones could support the larger. Uh huh. I needed to arrange them. In I think. Size order. I think I know how this works. Yeah. Hold up. Let me add this data block here. Let me remove this one. Uh, I'm not gonna add it there. Let's add it over here then. All right. Let's remove this one. Let's also. I doubted the smaller ones crap. could support the larger. I needed to arrange them in size order. How do you do that? Add, add, what? Hmm, this is strange. 
I mean, I'm not getting um, enough to work with here. Which is quite peculiar. I'm only getting options to remove an add. And the thing is, I gotta add it here now that I removed that one. That is so strange. I doubted the smaller ones could yeah, I'm not gonna be able larger. to do that, of course. I needed to arrange them in size order. Alright, buddy, I know that. I wonder if I could spawn myself some more avatars, though. Let's uh, access the system here again. Try to chat with her some more. Greta, you got a minute? How can I help you? Uh, overview programs AI. Uh, let's go with so, overview. What am I looking at here? The ID data center is responsible for storing all information on UCHIP ID usage. Programs attached to an individual's ID can be modified and moved around. But creation and deletion of those is outside the scope of my AI. All right, all right. So what do these programs do? Oh, all sorts of things. Usually correcting erroneous data or flagging them for other ministries. The programs can be moved between citizens of interest, depending on current requirements. Requesting new programs or deleting them are actions restricted to administrators. So what do these programs do? Oh, all sorts of... The oh, program... you already told me that. Requesting new programs or deleting them are actions right. restricted to administrators. Um, overview programs... Tell AI. me about yourself. I am Greta, AI number 96. I am currently running interface General Response Engine, Technical Assistant. My equivalent citizen ID is 52626272. You have a citizen ID? Yes, an equivalent citizen ID is required to use the Minos Mail Communication Network. Hmm. Tell me Anything about yourself. more about I it? Am, yeah, am, nothing no he's, she's going to yes, tell me unfortunately. An equivalent citizen ID is required to use the Minos Mail Communication Network. Dang it. Bye. All right. Um let's see what else. I really hope that I could do something about this Greta as well, but I, I cannot, I cannot work with this unfortunately. I don't know what to do here. So what if I remove that? If I remove that, I can definitely put it here. Remove Domino. I don't want to add it. The thing is, I want to remove something from here as well at the same I time. I the smaller ones could support the larger. What? I needed to arrange them in size order. How the heck am I supposed to do this? If only I could carry that stuff. Or maybe... Oh, I can add the dominoes to her as well. No way. Now I get it. Uh, let's add this to her, to myself then. Let's remove this one. Add it to her. <laughs> that is insane. I had no idea we can actually do that to her. What? Alright, let's remove that domino. Let's put it over there for now. Let's also remove that domino. Put it on Elliot. Uh, let's remove that domino. Put it on... Elliot again. Uh, hold up, I've, I've done something incorrectly here. I'll just put this one on me, actually. Put this one there. Uh, remove this domino, put it over there. There we go. Do -do -do. Let's get this one going over there. Hmm. Put this one on myself. Get this one removed. Put it over here. All right, we're getting close. We're getting close. There we go. And now, if I put this one on her, that's the way to do it. All right, let's remove this one then. Uh, put it on. Actually, I don't want to put it on myself. I want to put it right here. Get this one removed. Put it on myself. Perfect. Uh, get this one removed, put it on myself, and I think we are good. Alright, and last two moves. 
get this one over here and this one all the way over here. There we go. We got it. I'd removed all the programs running on leads and my own ID. All right. Command. Perfect. Save changes. Changes saved. Beginning propagation to external servers. Huh. Oh, I think we're done. Look at that. I think we're out of there. So you're saying Asia City isn't real? No, no, no. It's real, all right. But all the adverts and tourist boards, a total lie. It's being plundered by the council, like a piñata at a kid's party. Hey, look who's waking up. Joey, check out my new threads. But how? This weird guy fixed me. Yeah, I went through your bag while you were asleep. Found my old cleaver in there as well. Thank you. But never mind that. I was monitoring your progress while you were in there. Looks like you've nailed both our data problems. So my ID should be cleared then? Your ID. My access to Minos. Result. I thought you said Link Space was empty. It had a major virus. The Helix virus? That's still going. Glad I didn't have to deal with that. Late! One second, Poppy. Hey, where's her Bilby? Shh. I got the Bilby away from her while you were in Link Space. Manage to slip it into your purse without the noticing. Dump it in the incinerator when you leave. It's not a purse. It's a satchel. <laughs> when I go, is Poppy going to be okay? After what you just did in Link Space? Absolutely. Anyway, I've had enough of this city. I've been planning my exit strategy for months. Just a few hours time, I'm heading out of this happy, happy cesspool of fake smiles, spankles, and secrets. Late! And I'm taking Poppy with me. Get her back to her family in the Gap. Take her out of the city? How? I think I figured out a way to slip a U-chip past the system. It's a little bit of genius. It's all about the kudos. You think it'll get her through the city gates? I'm still working on it. But if I'm right, which I always am, I'll get her anywhere. Late, late, late! <laughs> if she can shut up for five minutes. <laughs> Man, that link space was amazing though. Really loved it. Alright, let's not keep talking with him about this information. Uh, conspiracy. What were you and Joey talking about as I was waking up? <laughs> Foster, you should hear this guy. He's a proper nut job. <laughs> Says the droid with a god complex. I love That's it that we have complex. Joey back. I am a god. Anyway, ask him about some of his theories. They are wildly entertaining. And by entertaining, I of course mean fascinating and informative. Okay. Theory of evolution. What is all that about? Where's the controlled experiment, right? Duh. Any other conspiracy theories? The only way magenta can exist as a color is if rainbows are actually rain tubes. Think about <laughs> it. Magenta is actually one of my favorite colors. Any other conspiracy theories? Tell him the one about the Minister of Aspiration. <laughs> well, I'm not saying conclusively that she's a reverse vampire, but duh, you only ever see her in public during the day. <laughs> Any other conspiracy theories? Let's keep going with this. I'm really curious well, to see uh, what more conspiracies he's got. You know thinks the Earth is just a flat disk. Yes. So, day one of elementary school. Well, listen to this. Globe. Boom. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> All right, let's go with the distillery. What's the story on that distillery out there? The moonshine still. That's Jimmy's. What's the moonshine made of? Out-of-date spankles. Sounds dangerous. You're not kidding. It's practically weapons grade. Boy, seeing all this old tech takes me back. <laughs> Still the best, isn't it? I mean, sure. Reboots are fine, but they're never a patch on the original. Amen to that. All right, buddy. Um, let's sure keep talking about the old tech. Old robot parts. Listen, I don't judge you. Hey, I'm not judging. My pockets are stuffed full of crap. Did I hear you say Asio City? 
Don't get me started. When I found out about Asio City, that was the last straw. What happened? You've seen the land trains. They're coming directly from Asio City. Or what's left of it. What do you mean? We destroyed it. An entire metropolis converted to scrap. And the people forced into the gap. That's terrible. All while the people of Union City get fat off its remains. And the council call them our allies. Wow, seriously? I wonder if I'm gonna have to go there. So my ID is now clear? No blockers? No blockers. I hope you know what you're doing, by the way. Graham wanted his emails hidden for a reason. Of course, I can't patch his two-week absence. But you should be fine so long as you don't meet anyone from well-being. Does Mentor Alonzo count? Yep. Crap, I'm gonna have to stay away from Mentor Alonzo somehow. Although I have a feeling we are gonna meet him really soon as well. Any other things I should be worried about on my ID? Only that you're about a foot taller than the original Graham Henry. <laughs> By the way, how the hell did his ID end up in you anyway? That's deep core stuff. It was transferred into my U-chip by a hacker in the Gap. Impressive. How long has this dude been a hacker? Not that long, I guess. She can't be more than 14. Oh. Huh. I wonder if that's this guy's daughter, though. Huh. Good luck. I wonder. Thanks. Same to you. By the way, you never told me your name. Foster. Robert Foster. Drown. Joey Drown. <laughs> I don't expect I'll see the two of you again. Everything I'd learned from Leet made me wonder. Maybe all along, Graham was one of the good guys. At least now, with the data blocker removed from his ID, I'd be able to look deeper into his life. Hey, Foster, where are we dropping? Back to Graham's apartment for some good old-fashioned detective work. Lead the way. Oh, all right. Graham's Apparently we are unlocked. done here. I hoped that would help me oh. move forward. Interesting. All right, I don't see anything else that we got to do around here. So I'm guessing... All we gotta do now is just leave. Hey, Poppy. <laughs> Stay safe, will ya? Bye, Poppy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm loving it. Old man Russell had one of these back in the gap. All right, buddy, let's get out of here. We are completely done here. Uh, hopefully, that drunk guy didn't woke up though. I have a bad feeling about this. But uh, let's keep at it. Let's see. What do we got to do next? I wonder if I'm supposed to get myself some of this drink. Hmm. Anyway, let's keep going. Let's try to get out through the... Fro let's try to get out through where we came from. And hopefully nobody's going to stop us. Alright. I mean, so far it looks okay. So far so good. Anything back here? Okay, never mind. Apparently that guy is still sleeping. So we should be good. We should be good to just simply go back home. Alright, let's do this. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? Uh Graham's home, aspiration platform. Yeah, let's go back to Graham's Take home. Me to my apartment. Certainly, Citizen Graham. All right, there we go. We are finally done here. Man, that place was a hell of an adventure. I love it. And now we also have Joey here, which hey, Joey. I'm really excited about. I hear you. Look at this. <laughs> uh, Graham. I don't get it. We've searched this whole place, but I feel like we're still missing a key piece of information about Graham. Stop, are you? Yeah. I once heard that humans do some of their best thinking while sitting on the toilet. How is that helpful? <laughs> How should I know? You're the human. I, I wonder if this I'll is... Later, okay, Foster. Huh. I wonder if this is a tip. Him telling me to go and sit on the toilet. <laughs> because we can definitely go sit up on the toilet in the apartment. Nice oh, look floor. at this. Real they modest. Cleaned up the floor. Like the other me was compensating. Interesting. Alright. 
This guy is still trying to do the laundry. Get a load of this guy. <laughs> Get a load of this guy. I love it. Alright. This chick here, she is still glitched, as usual. Alright, let me see if I can give her the toy back. What's going to happen if I give her the toy back? Uh, there we go. Bilby. Excuse me, Songbird? Oh, you're back. I am? Do you want Bilby or not? Mm, doesn't like it. Bye, Songbird. Hmm. Yeah, bye. I have a feeling I'm just gonna have to go and put it on the shelf right up here. Hey, I remember these things. There was an empty spot marked Bartleby Bilby. Where's Captain Bilby? Yeah, I, He's I, the I know. Best one. I'm trying to give it to her, but apparently it's not gonna work. Hold up, let me try to open up the windows. Maybe she is glitched there. That's why I'm not able to give it to her. <laughs> Get a load of this guy. Alright, there we go. We just restarted the game because these two fellas have glitched between each other. Uh, let's open up the window one more time here. There we go. So she's coming. She needs to come here. Stongbird needs to come here and turn off the windows. So I can give her the toy. She's quite the charmer. I can see why he married her. <laughs> All right, buddy. All right, Songbird. Can I give you your toy now? She's Inventory. Quite the I can see why. Uh, Bilby. Excuse me, Songbird. What now? What? Hmm. Apparently, I cannot give her Bilby. I don't. I don't know That's why. That's now. Yeah. Bye. Interesting. Why can't I give her Bilby though? Really strange. Another victim of Sam and talk. Overlords. Hi. Mama Bear looks after all the cuddly kitties. Are you looking for one of my children? Uh, Bartleby. I'm looking for Bartleby Bilby. Don't worry, child. Look at my tummy to find your missing friend. Well, your missing friend is in my pocket now. I just don't know how to give it to you. Uh, all right. In that case, let's see here. Someone what else can we do? Angry. I have a feeling I need to look at the computer to get some more information about Graham. Uh, use. Alright, there we go. And hopefully now we can access. Yeah, look at this. We can now access this stuff. Huh. Messages. Thankfully, Graham's mail access was restored. I hoped it would help hmm. me figure out more about who this guy was. Whoa, look at this. He deleted 3,224 messages. Interesting. Uh, Mrs. Blythe. Mr. Grandy, the black rubber and spandex costume you ordered last week has arrived. Hi, Graham. I know that Songbird will be at a dinner party this evening. Are you free to meet up at St. Mark's Bar tonight? Alice. Huh. Interesting. Geoff. Hey, Gramzy. Not seen you around lately. Could do with my camera back and some film took if you got any. Knock, knock, Gram. So everybody was trying to contact Gram. Oh, hold up. This one has was, something attached. Sent Graham an attachment for the Holoplinth. Huh. Interesting. So how can I get this attachment on, attachment on the Holoplinth activated? The newly adjusted and fitted work uniform has arrived, sir. I have placed it on your wardrobe. Uh, watch out for Revolution, man. They stole the circuit board of Joey, the savior today. They'll stop at nothing. <laughs> huh. Not quite sure exactly how I'm gonna get this one. Hey, Graham. Thank you for inquiring about our range of HoloLens imagery. Attach to the special image you requested. Hmm. Alright, let's try to access the Holoplinth then. Uh, let's see here. Which one is it? What? Hold up. No, no, no. I didn't manage to interact with that. Use again. Let me use my mouse because apparently something is glitching out here. Alright, so if I go with this... There was one thing oh. I was sure of. Huh. That was not a bonsai tree. That's definitely not a bonsai tree. Interesting. Let's activate it and see uh, what this is going to show us then. 
Oh, is that corrupted file again? Someone looks angry. The oh. HoloLens now projected fragmented data. Whoever had sent me this email attachment was trying to tell Graham something. But what? Interesting. You know what? I have a feeling. What if I try to use the other disk then? With this one. Maybe I can combine these datas. I swapped the lens for ah, the Ah, there we go. I knew box. it. It was a secret message. Aspiration Gala. Midnight. Be, be there. The Gala. What? That's tonight. And I need to be there. Yeah, we definitely need to be there. That's for sure. That is crazy. Huh. All right. Well, we made it all the way to this location. Someone looks angry. Hmm. Hold up. Can I have a chat with this guy? Talk. Excuse me. Good evening, sir. Aspiration Gala. Yeah, what let's go with this. About a celebration tonight. The Aspiration Day Gala. Madam Songbird is so looking forward to it. It has populated is approximately she? 83% of our conversations. In fact, any time someone spoke of it, your heart rate would elevate and you would perspire, sir, heavily. Is that why Graham left? Is sir referring to himself? Or a friend also named Graham? Do I have any <laughs> friends? None, sir. All right, uh, let's keep talking any about the Aspiration Gala. Can get into this gala? No, sir. But if mm. I were to ever host a party in my cleaning cupboard, I would certainly invite you, sir. I'll bring my own bleach. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh my god, I'm loving these guys. Any idea how I can... No, sir. Okay, so he's not gonna be of any Goodbye, use here. Jeff. Have a very special day, sir. Alright, buddy. Um, what else? Let me try to get my... Holo back here. I don't want to leave this. Actually, I'm just going to replace with this one, just so that nobody can see that information. Excuse me, please. I swapped the lens back to the Don't worry, buddy. One. The hollow lens now projected fragmented data. I know. Whoever had sent me this email attachment was trying to tell Graham something. I know, what? buddy. I know. I know what he was trying to tell me, but uh, I just didn't want to leave it there, just so that nobody can see it. Um, hey, once I again. These things. You always wanted the whole set. Oh, mystery books. What is that? The detective Culls. Someone liked their murder mysteries. <laughs> Alright, let's try to give her the toy again, I guess. She's I don't know what charmer. else I can do. I can see why he married her. But Excuse first, me, I want to talk about the gala. Hello, husband. Aspiration so gala. You're supposed to go to this aspiration gala. I prefer the term destined. After all these years, finally a high enough kudos level to get me to high places. The Aspiration Gala. This is my chance to soar. The sort of kudos levels that are gonna be there. My social status will skyrocket. Sounds like fun. This isn't some kid's birthday party. It's about dragging myself out of the gutter and moving one step closer to the lower level. Can I get tickets to the Aspiration Gala? Oh, darling. You stole the wrong ID. Classic Foster. <laughs> Graham wouldn't make the guest list? Not by a mile. He wouldn't even get the cleaning gig the morning after. Opposites attract, I suppose. Please. It was thanks to me that he wasn't shifted up top. And thanks to him that I'm stuck here. You know what? I have a feeling I may need to I steal really her... I really need to get to the Aspiration Gala. I may need to steal her badge. <laughs> what do you care? A little above your station, don't you think? Whereas mm. people like me belong there. Can you get me tickets? Darling, even if I could, you're not exactly gala material. Compliment received. Why don't you run off and find Reginald or that stuck-up droid of his, Tarquin? They might be a little more charitable. I need to get tickets for tonight's gala. Like I said, You'll have better luck speaking to Reginald or Tarquin. Oh, Thanks. I yeah, get it. Bye. I know what I gotta do now. Interesting. Well, you know what? In that case, I'm pretty sure I don't need to give this girl the toy back. So, um, let's just go back down below here. 
Um, also, about Captain Bilby, I'm having a feeling I may need to go back at that factory and throw the doll in the fire. And throw the doll in the fire pit, I'm pretty sure about it. Uh, let's just have a chat with Reginald here, or Got a minute? the butler, actually. Is something the matter? Hello again. Good evening, Master Grundy. Off Good evening, work, buddy. Nope, what? not really. Uh, oh, yes, the cleaning won't supervise itself. Are you going to the Aspiration Gala? Going? One is headlining, sir. What do you mean? Yours truly is performing in front of the best and brightest of Union City. Performing what? Droid poetry, sir. Oh, boy. <laughs> so this poetry? poetry performance you mentioned, what's the story? Ah, one has been invited to recite a humorous poem of one's own devising at tonight's Aspiration Gala. You, a droid, have been tasked with writing a poem? Oh, yes, sir. The poet laureate Reginald Arthur Schnipple Esquire performs regularly at the gala. And this year, he has invited me to open for him by reading an inspirational and humorous example of droid poetry on stage. Droid poetry? How's that working out? Very good, sir. Reginald has told me that whatever I read, it will be hilarious, and the people will laugh uncontrollably. Hmm. Laugh at or laugh with. <laughs> oh, is there a difference? Exactly. This That's definitely is I a thought. difference, buddy. All right, uh, let's go with... If I gave you a bit of inspiration for your poem, could you get me into the gala? Sir, that would be only fair. I'm sure Sir would enjoy the fruits of that inspiration at the performance. I realized if I could help Tarquin with his poem, he could get me into the gala. Hmm, you know what? Yeah, that's for sure. That's exactly what we gotta do. So just to be clear, I give you inspiration, you get me into aspiration. Inspiration <laughs> for aspiration. That's rather clever. And it rhymes. Sir's genius is luminescent. In that case, let me go see what I can find. <laughs> so Reginald's the go-to guy for inspiration, hmm? Absolutely. His wit and insight is renowned. And yet he's asked you to perform alongside him. Yes, for comparison. I see. Interesting. Uh, let's go with Where Reginald would I again. Find Reginald? Well, he is likely in the piazza, finalizing his humorous poem for tonight's event. But I am his servant, not his keeper, sir. All right, Could poetry. I use your droid poetry. Fine idea. One would value the input of an average human. If you're looking for average, he's your man. After 148,000 <laughs> oh iterations, I have narrowed down the contenders to a manageable number. Here is number 59. <clears throat> there was once an A from place B, with unforeseen predicate P. Factor F occurred next, which resulted in X, and hilarious consequence C. Ha! Brilliant! Bravo! It might be a little... on the nose. Dear me, it's not about noses. It is a study of the structure of a limerick, assembled into the pattern of an actual limerick. How very... I don't get it. ...clever. Indeed. That is what makes it so very funny. Absolutely. All right, buddy. Um, inspiration. Still working on finding that inspiration. Glad to hear it. Unrelated uh. question. Any idea where I might find Reginald? Well, he's like... Yeah, Wait. I know he's at the Piazza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what? Let me uh, let me skip this because I kind of know what I gotta do next. Um, but before I go and look for some more inspiration, what I want to do is make my way back to the factory and try to throw that doll in the oven. Since I cannot give it to the girl, Welcome, since I cannot give it to Sungbird, I'm pretty sure we gotta to get go? rid of it. At least, take me to the home crescent. That's what Lee told set. me to do. Travel waiver, are you sure? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No take one. me, take me. Mind how you go, Citizen Graham. <laughs> Let's go. All right, and we are back at the factory. Let's see if we can now dispose of that thing in the furnace. Uh, inventory. Bilby. Wow, look at that. We actually took care of it. 
Interesting. I tossed the bilby down the furnace chute. Any signal leading to here is now gone. Huh. Alright, well, we got rid of Bilby. Apparently, that's exactly what we gotta do. Um, I really thought that I should give that to Graham's wife, but apparently that is not a thing. Alright, well, you know what, guys? I think uh, we're actually going to have to end up the episode right here for now. I do believe that in the next episode, I am gonna have to make my way to the Piazza. And um, probably have some chat with some more people over there. And uh, maybe find some inspiration from somewhere for the, for the droids, for his poetry. I don't know. But uh, anyway, as usual, guys, thank you all very much for watching another episode of Beyond the Steel Sky. I really hope you enjoyed it. And of course, if you did, please make sure you hit on that like button down below, as that would help the channel quite a lot. And if you guys are new here and have subscribed yet, please do consider doing that, as I'm posting videos just like this one every single day, playing many more indie adventure games and puzzle games I'm pretty sure you all enjoy. Alright, everybody, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next one soon. Bye!